Hello everyone, happy Thursday. It is Connor here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a great day so far. Now that we have finished up the best of series, we are going to be doing some new can reviews for the next few days. So we are kicking it off here with White Birch from Homeworks. I'll be back with two more reviews later today as well from Homeworks. So that is today's videos for you. Um, I will be doing a video on Sunday where I'll be doing like my top 10 candles of 2022. That's what's really going to close out the best of series of 2022. So um, be on the lookout for that video coming on Sunday. That will really close out the series. But like I said, we've got some candle reviews now today. So this candle, actually, you cannot find it anywhere online at the moment. It was available in the Swarwick, and then it was also available in the 80 ounce Lux candle, but you actually cannot purchase either of those because they are both sold out. So very unfortunate because this is a really pretty scent, but we are going to get into the scent description, the notes, and the performance, all of that in today's video. You could find this one in like the Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx type stores. I know that they're going for like 50% off there. So if you do find this one there, then um, I guess it's up to you if you would like to pick it up. I would like to say um, there is a whole thing going on right now. If you're finding candles at Home Goods, Marshalls, or TJ Maxx, and they have like the date of, oh, if they have the date that says 220606 or something like that, um, definitely don't pick them up because all of the pours that I've had that have that date, they have just been really bad burns. They've been failing to pull out. They are puny wicks. They have very low throw. So I would just be cautious of those. This one um, has the pour date of 2022 so May the 10th of 2022. If you don't know where to find the pour date, let me get a candle real quick that's not lit up. So this is the Spun Vanilla Sugar right here. So here's how you find the pour date. See this number right here? So this one is 02, sorry, so it's 2022-06-10. So who knows how this pour is going to be, but um, yeah, that is how you find the date. So beware of any of the bad pours, but let's go ahead and get into this review, kicking it off with the notes. So the notes read, white birch, crisp, fresh, sorry, white birch, fir balsam, and crisp winter air. So this is a really pretty scent. Um, I really do like this one. And ever since I've been shopping from Homeworks, I've just heard good things about this scent and um, I really did want to try it. It is a really pretty birch scent. I feel like birch scents are probably the most pretty tree. I wouldn't say they're the most like authentic tree, but if you want like a really pretty tree scent, I feel like birch normally can be a really beautiful scent and usually if a company does it right it makes a really beautiful blend for example silver birch from yankee candle which i believe has now been discontinued but that is just a really pretty candle obviously this one's a really pretty candle and i know that there's like a few other birch candles that are just really beautiful blends so i think that this is definitely a pretty candle i definitely get the birch note in here but then i also get you know that like crisp cool winter air and it's just really nice in there um as far as the fir balsam goes i really don't pick up too much fir balsam it's not really a christmas tree scent it really just does smell like a birch tree on like a snowy winter day you really get that like nice winters like smell you know that like really nice fresh airy borderline like a cleaner scent um I would say if you like those clean airy scents this is definitely one to look into and I actually think that this is probably better for more after Christmas and like the January or February times so I'm kind of glad that I wasn't able to get to this one until now in the first week of January because I feel like this is appropriate for like a nice snowy day and not as much on like a Christmas day 
So that is my thoughts on the scent description and uh, notes. I have no problem with those at all. It's a really pretty scent. I will say this. I was watching Josh at Twitch, at Touch the Fire twice. He was talking about this um, scent, and I will try and link down the video if I remember in the description. But he was talking about kind of like all the controversies going on right now with homeworks and he took this candle for example it just smells very different and obviously it's not the same quality and performance than the original from whenever homeworks launched i think they launched in like 2017 2018 somewhere around that time but um he was just talking about kind of how it's sad how this was just such a classic scent but it has really like its quality is gone it's not as strong as it used to be the quality is obviously not there and the scent is almost different than what the original is i personally really like this scent but i'm going to talk about it in a second i get a very low throw from this one that is the main performance issue from it. Um, I'm about to talk in a minute, but um, I'm really not getting too many performance issues other than though just a very light throw. It's a really beautiful scent, so it's kind of upsetting because I really would love for this one to throw, um, but it's definitely being a low thrower for me. I do believe if you purchase this one like one or maybe even like two years ago, like anything before this time, I feel like you would have had just a much better experience with a stronger throw and probably a more beautiful scent. Again, it's really unfortunate because I do believe that this is a classic for Homeworks and it's one that's been out since the launch in 2017, 2018, whenever it was. But um, yeah, it's just really unfortunate. Again, I do think it's a beautiful scent, but I do need that extra th strength and throw increase. I will. Go ahead and give you guys a overhead view of this. So as you can see, it's burning pretty well. I'm almost done with it and it's the wicks are still trucking, which is good. I've been very cautious about trimming them. I only trim the like top part of them where it like kind of gets up like a mushroom. I trim that off, but then I leave the rest because if you trim them too short, then they'll definitely become puny. But they're really doing pretty well. As you can see, it's a pretty clean burn, maybe a little bit of like wax discoloration or just like stuff in the wax. But as you can see on the sides, it's burning really cleanly and there's really no problem with like soot or anything like that. So as far as the cleansliness goes, I am very happy with this one. But again, I just really think that it's such a beautiful scent to have no strength and throw. I would probably give the strength and throw like a four. I had purposely put this one in my entryway because um, it is just a really welcoming scent and I thought that it would work really well in there and just be a nice scent to greet you when you come into home. But unfortunately, it's just barely detectable. Um, again, that pour date is 2022-05-10. So I know that all of the pores for this year at Homeworks have been pretty light. I have had some that are lighter than others, some that are stronger than others. I feel like this one is definitely more on the light end and I would give that strength and throw like a three to a four. That's being very generous. Like it's pretty undetectable for this scent unless you pretty much go right up to it and smell it. You can't really smell it and it definitely doesn't travel outside of its space. So it's very unfortunate and I hate to give it this review, but as I always am, I have to be honest with you guys and, you know, let you guys know when a candle does not perform up to my quality and just what I expect. Um, if you're going to be spending your money on frivolous things like candles and, you know, candles are obviously not a need. They are a want and they come after, you know, your food, property, shelter, all of that things, like you're going to want to spend your money on stuff that actually performs well for you if it's going to be what I would call fun money. So it is pretty unfortunate, but I really hope again, and I know I say this in like every Homeworks video, but I really hope Harry and the team take a look at the reviews that I have up and the reviews that some of my friends have up, like Katie from Katie's Joyful Life, um, Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom, Philly Candleman, um, Josh Touch the Fire Twice. I just hope that he looks at all of these videos and really takes the criticism that we have and tries to perfect the candle. I know that it's never going to be perfect in 2023, but I really hope that he brings back the OG quality that Slatkin and Co. had and really puts, you know, 
puts home fragrance back in his name because he is known for home fragrance and since he's been there at his Slapkin and Co days at Bath and Body Works I really want him to kind of have that thought back where it's like yes Harry Slapkin is the king of home fragrance and I really would like to see them come back in 2023 better than 2022 because I think we can all agree there was just definitely a lot of not great <laughs> that happened with homeworks in 2022 so hoping he can come in 2023 and definitely work on the product and make us love it again because like I always say they have some really pretty scents as I always say they have really beautiful tree scents this is definitely a very pretty scent um but we really just need that strength throw and better performance from this but anyways let me know your thoughts down below in the comments have you ever tried this set before what is your thoughts on it and um did you have any performance issues with it if you burned it this year thank you guys so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up it would really help um if you guys enjoy the video to so give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new here and be a part of our candle community here on youtube Make sure to turn on that notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload. Again, I will be back with two more videos later today on two more homeworks camera reviews. I will see you guys there. Bye.